Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here with the K2 Plus and the Creality Nozzle Set. Working with smaller models and smaller layer heights can make large models take forever. While there are certain models that may benefit from smaller nozzles, such as models with small detail and small lettering, many models can be printed with a larger nozzle without any notable loss in quality. With these larger nozzles can come much shorter print times. Let's have a look at how different nozzle sizes affect print time and print quality. Let's also look at different models to see which ones are candidates for bigger or smaller nozzles. We'll also need to make sure you know how to tell Creality Print which nozzles you own and which nozzle size you are working with. Let's switch over to Creality Print 6. But first, let's check in with our sponsor. Those of you using electronics for your 3D prints, making things such as remote control cars, planes, and robots, may find the PCBWay module store helpful in getting the electronics and components you need to complete these projects. For the more advanced electrical user, you can pop into PCBWay's instant quote, choose the type of PCB you need, fill out your parameters, and press a button to receive a quote. PCBWay has a laundry list of products and services that may suit your project. Here we are in Creality Print 6. We have changed our nozzle from a 0.4 to a 0.6, and we need to tell our slicer that. You will first need to tell Creality Print that you own a 0.6 nozzle. You will do that by clicking the pull-down menu under Printer and choosing Select Remove Printers. On this screen, hover your mouse over K2+, Plus, look for this plus or minus icon, do not click it, hover your mouse over it, and check the box for the nozzle sizes you own. I now have a 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. We will press confirm. This is a one-time thing. Once you have done this, your pull-down list will have the K2 Plus 04, 06, and 08. I've dragged a bunch of models into Creality Print 6, and we're going to have a look at candidates for bigger and smaller nozzles. When I say bigger and smaller, I mean bigger than 0.4 and smaller than 0.4. Let's look at why we may choose to go with a bigger nozzle. Here we have a basic test doggy. Let's set our profile to 0.4. We will leave all settings as they are. We will use the standard 0.2 layer profile and press slice. We are looking at a total print time of 1 hour and 13 minutes. Now let's go ahead and switch our profile to 0.6. You will see we now have options for much larger layer heights. The default is 0 0.30. Let's not get carried away and bring it down to 0.24. Go ahead and slice the plate. You can see our print time has been reduced to an hour and six minutes. Should we step up to a 0.3 layer height, our print time is reduced to 56 minutes. This has reduced our print time by almost 18 minutes. However, we are sitting on a K2 Plus. Let's assume we are utilizing that giant print bed and going big. Here we have a gigantic test doggy. Let's go ahead and print it with a 0.4 nozzle at your typical 0.2 layer height. We are looking at a whopping 8 hours, 13 minutes. Should we switch to that 0 0.6 nozzle with a 0 0.3 layer height? We are down to 7 hours, 37 minutes. And if we moved all the way up to a 0 0.8 nozzle with its standard 0 0.4 layer height, we are down to 7 hours 16 minutes. Switching to a bigger nozzle and bigger layer height is saving us over an hour per dog. If we had to print 
five of these dogs, that's five hours total less print time. However, these are estimates made by the slicer and the real world saving may actually turn out to be dramatically better. Looking at your point four nozzle, you do have the option for larger layer heights and lower layer heights. 0 0.2, 0 0.16, 0 0.12, 0 0.2, 0 0.24, 0 0.28. With a 0 0.6, we get an intermediary layer height of 0.18. And then we go 0 0.24, 0 0.3, 0 0.36. Each layer height will increase or decrease by the size of the nozzle, 0.6 at a time we can actually print a smaller layer height than the default 0.4 profile with our 0.6 nozzle. It's not as small as the next step down with a 0.4 nozzle, but it's not as big as the standard 0.2. You can tinker with these layer heights to find the best balance of performance and quality for your print. However, when moving up to a larger nozzle, it is typically not to go down in layer height size. It is to go up in layer height size. Also, it's worth knowing you should rely heavily on your own mind as opposed to slicer estimates. There are times the slicer estimates will be incorrect, sometimes drastically so, and this can vary from slicer to slicer. Let's have a look at models that may be worth looking at larger or smaller nozzles. We will start with smaller nozzles. When might you want to move down to a 0.2 nozzle? This dog right here is large and has very minimal small details. This box here and this tube here, absolutely no small details. This gigantic mask right here is very large with very large features and no real small details. The same goes for this mask right here. There is no reason to consider a smaller nozzle for these models. However, what about this plaque right here with small lettering? Or this tiny miniature teddy bear with tiny eyes, tiny nose, and little articulated moving parts. What about this guy right here? He is small and absolutely full of tiny little miniature details. This guy right here would be a good candidate for a 0.2 nozzle. How about this bathroom sign right here? Again, very small lettering and small details perfect for that small 0.2 nozzle. When printing with a larger nozzle, you may lose this lettering. The larger layer height may be too big for the printer to print this properly, and you'll want to step down to that smaller nozzle size. Let's have a quick look at how lower layer height with a smaller nozzle can affect print time. Let's say you've absolutely lost your mind, and you wanna print this giant dog with a 0.2 nozzle, 0.10 is a little extreme. Let's go 0.12. This is still much finer than the 0.2 standard of a 0.4 nozzle. Keep in mind that, that one took 8 hours and 13 minutes. Switching to a 0.2 nozzle with a smaller layer height of 0.12 brings you to a whopping 2 days 20 hours. This is a hard pass. However, let's have a look at our bathroom sign. Slicing our bathroom sign with a 0.6 nozzle at 0.3 layer height will take 56 minutes. The likelihood that this lettering looks clear and sharp is very slim. It's also likely it may not print at all. Switching to a 0.2 nozzle even moving up to a larger layer height such as 0.14 is less than half the 0.3 of the 06 nozzle. Our print time has gone up to a whopping 5 hours. However, if you look closely at the representation of the model, you can see much greater detail and much smaller Z-seam marks 
compare this representation to the 0 0.6 representation and you can see this particular model is likely worth the time spent to print with the smaller nozzle. So with the 0 0.4 nozzle and a 0 0.2 layer height being a standard median for 3D printing, we'll consider anything over larger and everything under smaller. Let's look at candidates for going larger. For example, this mask right here. Very little detail, lots of flat, large, curvy surfaces, lots of big, giant, round, smooth features. Good candidate for a 0 0.6 nozzle. How about this Deadpool and Wolverine best friends charm? It's small, there are pointy features, and tiny lettering. Not a good candidate for a 0 0.6 nozzle. Likely a good candidate for a 0 0.2 nozzle. Large teddy bear? Yes. Medium teddy bear? No. Large flat mask? Very little detail? Yes. Large mask? Lots of small curves and details? No. Godzilla? Big, large, scaly mess. Lots of texture, lots of lumps and bumps. It is a scaly reptile. Very much a likely good candidate for a 0 0.6 nozzle. This guy right here, very small, details very tiny, teeth, nails, spikes, legions, other stuff. Probably want to go with a smaller nozzle and tinier layer height, as a lot of these details may be lost due to its tiny size. And there we are having had a good look at why and why not you might want to go with a bigger or smaller nozzle. With time and experience, you will learn which model is a good candidate for which nozzle. As you develop your skills and experience working with different layer heights and different nozzles, you will be able to make the correct decisions to achieve quality prints with the ideal print time. While ideal might be a stretch, you will at least be able to make decisions that will help avoid unnecessary hours of printing by working with larger nozzles when possible or absorbing that extra print time to be sure your small details print correctly. Everything you see here on the table in front of me was printed in a 0 0.6 nozzle. You will see I have models both big and small. These white ones here are glow in the dark, and this is a gigantic Godzilla wall art. Quite clearly, a 0 0.6 nozzle can handle decent quality prints. And everything you see here was printed on a 0 0.4 nozzle with a 0 0.2 layer height. As you can see, a 0 0.4 nozzle is a super versatile and capable nozzle. This guy here was printed on a 0 0.2. And this guy was printed on a 0 0.8 nozzle. Clearly, you can see quality models can be made with a variety of nozzle sizes. It's up to you to decide which one is the best fit for which project. I'm Greg Adventure, and you're on 3D Rundown.